Now, as soon as uh, some things was being told, that I put you and Brother Norman, where's Brother Norman? Right there. Put them under oath that they wouldn't mention what was taking place. Is that right? Did I turn around and walk away from that tent like that? Is that right? Because this is what it was. Say that. Exactly what it was. And knowing that I couldn't say it till it happened to see if the people would understand it. And did you notice that one angel I said in there was a strange angel? And you look more to me than any of the rest of them. Remember that? They were in a consolation, three on the side and one on top. And the one right next to me here, counting from the left to the right, would have been the seventh angel. He was brighter, did more to me than the rest of them. Remember I said he had his chest out like that? It was flying eastward, you remember like that? I said he picked me up, lifted me up. Remember that? Amen. Here it is. Yeah. The one with the seven seal, the thing that I wanted all my life. Amen. 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 That mother seals meant a lot to me, of course. But oh, you don't know what this is, man. Amen. I went up in the mountain to hunt. There, Brother Fred and I, one morning when I walked down, I'd already got my javelina and I looked and seen the place where we were. And I said, Brother Fred, go over on that mountain early in the morning now, about to break a day, and I'll get on the other. I won't shoot at the hog, won't kill him, but if they start over this way, I heard, I'll shoot in front of them and run them back. Brother Fred went out there and there's no hogs. He waved at me and I seen I went down in the canyon, some big chasms. Sun is just coming up. I come around the other side of the hill, not thinking nothing about the prophecy. Sit down. Waiting, resting, I thought, what happened to those hogs? I picked up my, sat down like Indians do, you know, cross-legged. I looked on my overhaul leg, and there was a bullheader. I picked it up, and I said, that's strange. Here I am about 40 miles northeast of Tucson. There's my little boy, Joseph, sitting there waiting for me. And as I started to look, I seen a herd of hogs come out about a thousand yards from me up on the mountain. I told the bullheader down, I said, I'll get them. I'll go get Brother Fred and I'll hang up a piece of paper to let know which way to go on this old cotilla here. And we'll get Brother Fred and I start up the mountain running as hard as he could on the other side. All of a sudden, I thought somebody shot me. I never heard such a blast that shot the whole country. And when it did, standing before me was seven angels in a cluster. I met Brother Fred and Emily Lay said, what was that? That was it. What are you going to do? Return home. For thus saith the Lord, the seven mysteries that's been hid in the Bible all these years, these denominations and everything, God is going to open those seven mysteries to us in the seven seals. There was that circle coming up from there like a mist forming. When it did, it went from up into the mountain to get a circle on westward from the way it come. Science found it at 12, 30 miles high and 25 miles across, just exactly in the circle of the pyramid. And the other day, standing there, turned the picture to the right, and there's Jesus. As the world is seven church ages, the white wig on, showing supreme deity. He's Alpha and Omega. He's the first and the last. He is the supreme judge of all his earth. And he never confirmed the message of this hour. And there shall be light without the evening time. What's it all about? What was it? I went westward up on that same mountain, passing up the Banks Woods there, to throw up a rock. Say to Mr. Woods, thus saith the Lord. You'll see the glory of God. The very next day, standing there, a whirlwind came down and blasted the mountains out. Rocks cut the top of the trees off, about three or four feet above my head. Made three big blasts. The brothers come running over. There was about 15 men standing there, preachers and everything else. What was it? He said, what was it? I said, judgment is striking the West Coast. Amen. About two days after that, the earthquake almost sunk Alaska. What 
What is this light? Up on Sunset Mountain in the Carnotal Forest of Arizona. What is this strange thing that happened up there? That the people's been driving east from west, picking up the rocks that laid around that horse truck, and every one of them, every one rock has three corners on it that it tore off. Three are one. They're laying on desks on paperweights across the nation. What is this strange thing up on Sunset Mountain in the Carnoto Forest? Junior Jackson listening in. You remember the dream he had as I interpret, going towards the setting of the sun. And this happened on Sunset Mountain. It's the evening time. Sunset time. The sunset message. history, a setting of prophecy, brother, being fulfilled, and it shall be light at the evening time upon Sunset Mountain in the Carnotal Forest, 40 miles north of Tucson. Get on the map and see if Sunset Peak there. That's exactly where it happened. I never knew it the other day. Everything that, that shall never die. It's constantly unrolling itself. From the very thing happening to the picture of being Jesus standing looking at us, and now exactly on Sunset Mountain. And the sunset light, the evening light, has come. God vindicating himself. What is it? It is a fact that God and Christ are one. Amen. How many seen it? The white wig upon him as we talked in Revelation 1. The, the supreme deity, supreme authority. No other voice, no other God, no other nothing. In him dwells the fullness of the Godhead bodily. The angels themselves was his wig. Amen. What's happened up on Mount Sunset? God confirming his word. That's what all this noise is about. Notice God fulfilling his promised word again of Revelations 10, 1 to 7. And in the days of the sounding of the seventh angel's message, the mystery of God should be finished. The hidden mystery of Revelation 10, 1 to 7, the last message to the last church angel, fulfills exactly in this age, St. Luke 17, 30, the day when the Son of Man shall be revealed. And there shall rise false prophets and false Christ. Show great signs and wonders insomuch to deceive the elected, if possible. The people still in doubt. And as usual, the church is just as puzzled. And the science, all through Tucson, yet the writing piece, pieces and put the paper way back around Mount Lim and them big cameras. Didn't see it rising up from where we were standing. Drifting on towards the west, showing the time is over. Can't go over a little piece there. It's at the west coast. Judgment struck just in the very way it went. Going right up over Phoenix, right on across. On to Prescott and across the mountains to the west coast, right on up into, where was they going? Right on up into Alaska. And she's thundering, heading right that way. And the observatories and all of them in Tucson are still asking research of science, trying to find out what it is. So high, they can't be fog mist or nothing up there. What did it? Where's it at? They're just as puzzled at that supernatural halo hanging out of the sky as it was when the Magi's come in, following the stars, saying, where is he? That's born king of the Jews. What was it? God fulfilling his word. There shall rise a star out of Jacob. And the God of heaven promised the evening time would have evening light. Three years ago, this mystery was a prophecy. Amen. What time is it, sir? But now... It's history. It's past. The promise is fulfilled. What time is it, sir? And what's this attraction? God fulfilling his word. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever.
what happened on that day, through that week, you are the living results standing here today. Amen. For as sure as the blast, blasted Pyramid Rocks out of that mountain, yes, sir. so has the prophetic message of Malachi 4 and 5 Amen. blasted out people that are the pyramid of God's life reflected on the earth today. Well, I see pyramids everywhere today reflecting Jesus Christ that's the same yesterday, today, and forever. So we say a very special salute to you a fulfillment of these supernatural things that has happened in our generation. Sure as a prophet was adopted, Amen. he left a prophetic message Amen. that you also will be a manifested yes. son and daughter of God on the earth. We cannot keep from believing that with all of our hearts yes. because we know the, re the effect of this message Amen. is the living bride. So we say a very special God bless you. Amen. What a time that we have had Amen. together in Christ Jesus. Amen. May the Lord bless you with our prayer. You. We'll see you tomorrow at some of the greatest meetings we've ever had. Yes. Why? Because we're a day closer to the resurrection. God bless you, right in Amen. A couple of announcements before we leave. Brother Angel, where you at? Where's Brother Angel? He's going to give you some announcements concerning these vans and how we want to exit out of here. And please, from here, if you don't mind, and also, maybe some of y'all have not saw it, but as you exit out, you can see the prophet's profile at a certain distance there, perfectly in the mountain. If you took the pillar of fire and was taken in Houston, Texas, held it up, the exact profile of the prophet. How could God allow there to be a mountain with the profile of a prophet yes, sir. in our generation Amen. to vindicate what a supernatural display yes, of his love that we are part of? Amen. We say God bless you as our prayer. But thank you. We do. Uh, as much as we would like to stay, we're going to have to start heading back. Tanto como nos gustaría quedarnos aquí, pues tenemos que comenzar a regresar. We. Well, we're going to. We'll, we'll work on that one. Uh, what we're going to do, uh, those that came here in the van, we're going to ask you to remain back here. Those who drove here, Please go ahead and start uh, uh, walking back to the place where the vans were dropping the people. What we're going to do, we're going to take the people that drove here back to the parking. And once we're done taking the people there, then the people that ride in the van, then we'll start heading out. Okay? Uh, lo que les vamos a pedir es las personas que guiaron aquí al, 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 al Sunset Mountain, eh, que por favor eh, comiencen a dirigirse donde las vanes los dejaron. Los que vinieron en las vanes, por favor, le pedimos que se queden atrás en lo que llevamos la gente que vino eh, guiando eh, de regreso al parking lot. Una vez eh, ellos hayan abordado sus autos, las vanes regresarán para eh, tomarlos nuevamente. Okay? May God reach you blessing. Amen. Two more quick announcements. Two more quick announcements. Those of you that uh, our brother, Pre brother Peter brought down in his truck, Brother Peter had to go back. We're pulling one van down here, one 15 passenger van. We'll be right down here if you need assistance getting back to the van. So those that need assistance with crutches or, or handicap, there will be one van that can take you back to the vans and take you back to your vehicle. Also, we need to leave the grounds the way we found it. Amen. So your your the water bottles or trash, if you could help us and make sure it finds a trash can that's over back over by the food. Amen. All right. God bless you. We'll see you in the morning. Bingo for the bingo.